hip abnormality is likely to have a limp. There are acute and chronic causes. In this video, we'll be covering the chronic causes. There are four chronic causes that you have to think about. These are tuberculosis, DDH, Lake of Perthes disease, and finally SUFI. We will not be covering tuberculosis. It's important to remember that these conditions affect children at specific ages. So the age of the patient highly suggests the pathology. This is known as the limb diagnostic calendar. It goes a little something like this. DDH, or development dysplasia of the hip, affects children between the ages of 1 and 5. Lake of Perthes disease affects children between the ages of 5 and 10. And finally, slipped upper femoral epiphysis, or SUFI, affects children between the ages of 10 and 15. Now that we've covered that, let's look at each specific condition. DDH, or development dysplasia of the hip, affects children between the ages of 1 and 5. It is an idiopathic type of hip dysplasia. Its etiology is controversial but is linked to mechanical factors in utero and ligamentous laxity. Risk factors include being female, firstborn, breech delivery, as well as having a family history. Presentations also depend on the patient's age. So, children below the age of 3 months usually present with a positive Barlow or Tulani test as well as Galeazzi test. Remember B is close to D, so in a Barlow's test you try and dislocate the hip. In Ortolani test, O is close to R, so you try to relocate the hip. And the Galeazzi test, you'll find that the patient has a shortened limb. In infants greater than 3 months old, you cannot rely on the Barlow or Ortolani test, as these can test negative due to the soft tissue contractures which occur at the hip. So here you must look for asymmetry in the skin folds, as well as limited hip abduction, as well as a positive Galeazzi and Kissick test. For children of walking age, you must look for a tridelicate gait, limb length discrepancy, as well as a lumbar lordosis. A six-week ultrasound is a more sensitive test and is routinely done in the first world. In South Africa, it's only done in high-risk babies. An AP pelvis may be done at six months. You must look for a break in Shenton's line. Shenton's line is an imaginary line drawn on the inferior border of the superior pubic ramus and the inferior medial border of the femoral neck. This line should be smooth and continuous. DDH rarely complicates. Complications are usually due to treatment. Patients are treated according to their age. Children less than 6 months are treated in a pavlic harness, but children greater than 6 months but less than 18 months are treated with a spike cast as well as hose reduction, and children greater than 18 months are treated surgically. Lake of Perthes disease, or LCP is the idiopathic type of avascular necrosis of the proximal femoral epiphysis. Unlike other causes of necrosis such as septic arthritis, steroids and alcohol, it is reversible, but the child will have a permanent limb length discrepancy. It commonly affects boys between the ages of 5 and 10. The patient usually presents with a painless limb or may have pain in the knee, hip and groin. The examination may reveal tendelible gait and loss of internal rotation and abduction. Limb length discrepancy is a late finding. The disease occurs in stages. These stages are evident on x-ray. You can see the fragmentation to healing stages on x-ray. Looking at this x-ray, you can see the fragmentations within the epiphysis, as well as a poorly defined femoral head. LCP is classified using a number of classification systems. The Stahlberg classification system is the gold standard in classifying the residual femoral head deformity, as well as joint congruency. Management is either surgical or conservative. Slipped up femoral epiphysis, or SUFI, is the condition where there is slippage of the epiphysis relative to the femoral neck. It usually affects males, obese children, and those of African descent. The etiology is unknown, but SUFI has been associated with some endocrine disorders. These include hypothyroidism, hypogonadism, as well as osteodystrophy of renal failure. In a child with bilateral disease, or patient with SUFI who is greater than the age of 16 or under the age of 9, you should exclude these endocrine disorders. The patient can present with knee pain and may be the only presenting symptom. Patients can either be classified as being stable, unstable, being able to wait for and ambulate or not. When viewing the AP X-ray, you may find a positive Trithoan sign. A lateral frog leg view is much better in detecting subtle slips. In this lateral frog leg view, you will find that the Klein's line does not intersect with the femoral head. So, in this video, we've covered three conditions. DDH, Lake of Perthes disease, as well as Sufi. I hope you've learned something. If you enjoyed the video, please like the video and subscribe to the channel.